a mukbang and we're just gonna talk about some stuff. I don't really know what we're talking about, but we have a little Caesar's pizza. You know exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Me, pizza, ranch, Thanks for um, cheesy bread, cheesy garlic cheese bread, <laughs> and some breadsticks. I already ate the breadsticks, the other bag of breadsticks. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna eat some pizza and talk about um, relationships. Relationships mukbang. So we're gonna talk about relationships. How do you guys feel about your significant other having an opposite sex best friend? Opposite sex and best friend. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really care, but it's like as long as like she respects me, then like I respect her. Cause I bet I had like a boyfriend before whose girl was like like liked him, mm -hmm. but he didn't like process that because like he thought of her as a best friend, but she really liked him, and then she was like being hella disrespectful to me because like she really wanted him deep down. So same here, Sierra. Yeah. Literally. I think it's but, but but we we figured that out. I figured that out. <laughs> as long as you're not like overstepping boundaries and that truly is like their best friend, then there should be no problem. But if there is like you know something else going on, then obviously that would be a problem. It's like let's give an example. Like me, me and Cameron are like best friends. Well, like we're all best friends with each other. But Courtney doesn't have a problem with me because she knows I'll never ever do like anything with Cam. Like I'm respectful as well of like. If That's if my significant other has like a girl best friend like me, then I'll be perfectly fine. But if she had a girl, he if if he had a girl best friend like some of these other whores, mm -hmm. then I'm not having it. <laughs> How do you feel about it? Okay, well my view on it now is just different. I kind of I don't know. I've let's just say mine's just just because of like maybe what I been through. What are you doing? Taking the cheese off, so lactose. I'm lactose intolerant. See, like in my circumstance, like if they're just if they act weird, I guess now around like the person you're with, then I don't know. I I just feel like it's not okay to, and you probably shouldn't have one. You know what I mean, yeah, like, I mean, I didn't even that's why of our friend group because it's all like everybody's so respectful. Of, like exactly, like nobody, like everyone knows. Like I'm not gonna freaking hook up with Marshall. I'm not gonna hook up with Cam. Or like everybody, everybody knows, knows that. that. Like, so like, it's like Del Darius, everybody's super respectful of like everybody in their relationship, and I feel like we're all. That's really cool to have like a group of friends. Like okay, okay, uh, especially coming out of high school, and like now, like everyone's you know different now. Obviously, people think differently. I don't think there's anything truly as a boy girl best friend unless you were best friends before then, because. What, like how? How are y'all best friends? I mean, it's rare. Yeah. So. But like for us, like, I wasn't like best friends with Cam or Jeremiah or like mm -hmm. any of those guys, and I just became them. But it's like, me personally, I'm not gonna disrespect the person that I'm with because of them. Like they're, I don't know. It's kind of weird because like it's like if I was like on in like in not in the situation, and I was looking at it, I'll be like that's kind of weird. But then like me and it, I'm just like. It's not weird because I know I'm not going to do anything. I know they're not going to do anything. So it's like, I know that. But like, I feel like if all of a sudden the person that I'm with gets a girl best friend, I'm just like, I don't know what, yeah. I'm like that. And if you're already like somebody, like, I feel like since we have a whole group of guy best friends, you know, that wouldn't like ever do anything like that's already. Maybe it's happened. different because it's like we're in a group and it's not just one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what I'm saying. Right? I mean, like, that, like I, I'll be honest, like, it's not that, like, I wish I had like a group like that, like that I stuck with, like maybe like after high school that was like maybe cool like that, but it's like, I don't know, I just like maybe wish like more people were like that, because like, I don't know, just me, like it's just like, I can't, I can't even like have that many friends that like were, like even just guys that were like mm -hmm. cool like that, that actually stuck together after, or like have been together like with each other too. Usually long. like... All the people that I've been around before, like, like my ex's friends and stuff, they all want to have sex with me. Like, literally, like, like after like we break up, as soon like as soon as we break up, they're they're all their friends that we all been hanging out together. They're all like, oh, you're single, let's hook up, let's do, let's. Go. Oh, now I'm trying to talk to you. I'm like, mm -hmm. how? That's your best friend, bro. What are you, what are you doing? Like, I don't understand. But like, I know if it was like 
in this group, like, that wouldn't happen. So that's mm -hmm. why I'm like, it's hella good because, like, we know none of us will do that. At least I hope not. I don't think so, but. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't. Yeah. Okay, guys. So what's our updates with our love lives? <laughs> oh, by the way, you guys didn't know they're dating. <laughs> oh, um, I'm, I mean, we're good. Um, when did you guys start dating? We started dating December 19th. Wow. Technically, but, you know, we've been She's dating. Like... <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, we've been dating longer That's than that, so but guys. I've been like, I don't know. We started first talking during the summer and then fell off because, you know. Stuff. Because Marshall was a cat. He used to cat all the, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I had I was doing stuff like for like school and not just that like I was don't cap like you already know like I was going to SF and stuff for like internships and stuff but yeah then we met each other at DVC and since then like we've been talking ever since and now we got a YouTube coming. Yep, and go subscribe. Because <laughs> they just pranked me and I was so mad and angry. Bro, that is so funny. <laughs> I was, I was, oh my god. Alright, so um hmm. Well um my love life is great right now. Um 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 I finally have someone found someone that like reciprocates my energy back, you know, like in the past that I haven't like I've been you know, doing all the work when I have somebody who keeps me motivated, it keeps me on my stuff, and helps me and my family, like, be closer, because we're really close, Aww. and, you know, like, I got posting every day in September, if you guys didn't notice, and I posted, I I got to 300k because of him, and now I'm posting every single day in September because of him, and he keeps me, like, always, you know, gets on my ass, post your merch, post your merch, post this, post this, like, make sure I'm always doing what I have to do, so it's finally good to have someone who's, like, Wants to see me win as bad as I do, so it's really good. So, um, yeah, super happy. <laughs> <laughs> and Courtney. And Courtney. Okay, so I'm just going to clear everything up. Basically, me and Cameron, Cam the dancer, are not together anymore. And everybody keeps asking. I get a lot of DMs. I know Sierra's been getting messages too, and I've been ignoring them. And it's hella like awkward because like it's like you guys don't reply to all my DMs, all my comments, and like everything. And it's like the things about Cam and Courtney, like I can't like or reply to. So it's like that's the only thing yeah. I'm not like replying to. So it's kind of like hard to like make keep this a secret, but like yeah, I'm not trying to like, respect like, like you know. I'm not trying to like keep it a secret or anything. It's just been like easier that way because. I've been listening to my friends like Julie and uh, Sierra said, you know, like maybe it's not the best idea to put it all on social media, so I didn't do that and I just didn't, you know, I'm trying to like not be hella back and forth or just make people confused and stuff like that because we still have content together and we're still going to be making content together, so, and we're still cool, we're still really good friends and nothing is bad, like we're still going to make videos together, so that's why, you know, it might confuse some people, but like, um... The other side of that is that when I'm, I've been traveling by myself, well, with a team of people and my friends for a good month or so in different states. And so when I do that, it makes it look like, you know, like I'm not being loyal or might look like bad on Cam's part. So I just don't want people to be like hating on him for, oh, you let your girl do this or what kind of guy are you just for letting, you know, like that looks bad on his side. So I just don't want you guys throwing hate on him because, you know, your girl, you let your girl go out there with all these guys, blah, blah, blah. and I'm literally just working on myself, I'm not doing anything, then I'm single, I'm just doing me, I'm working on myself, that's it, I'm working on making videos, content, traveling all over the place, so, but we're so cool, we're making videos together now, yeah. back in the bay, so, and now, and it's been, this has been since June, we broke up in June. So we've just kind of like not really told anybody since now. We're not telling people. Yeah. So we've been keeping this sister for a very long time. Yeah. And now it's out. But um, we just so you guys can stop I think, asking questions. Yeah. And at the, at the beginning of this video, we were kind of like in like a weird, awkward mood because we had filmed this part that I'm going to insert. We filmed that right before Cam left. So we had to film before he left, and I'm gonna insert that, and that's like his like. It's really side sad. Side of things, it's really sad. So if you guys don't wanna be sad or cry or anything, <laughs> really get past it. And so. Yeah. Yeah.
to say anything? All I just have to say is that the next person, whoever, whoever got it, like for real. <laughs> That's all That's I have to so say. That's so sad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just like, all I just all I have to say is that, come on. Hello? <laughs> hey, kind of. Hold on, can I, um, I'm doing something real quick. I'm about to come out for it. I'm just getting my stuff real quick. I have tears. I know, for real. I try, but it's just like, oh it's just like, this is so sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I just have to let things go, but Oh my god, I'm scared. Why do I feel like this is my relationship? It's, it's just like, no cut, like, like, I don't, y'all, y'all say in the comments that, like, like, she is, she a hoe, she, she this and that, though, I don't see that type of way, regardless of whatever, she is a, like, she is a beautiful human being. That's all I just have to say. No matter what, I got her. I'm not trying to get emotional too, but no matter what, I got her. And and for real, because if y'all if y'all got a problem with her, y'all have a problem with me. Simple. Hey. <laughs> <For real. laughs> but we're still friends, and we're still gonna make videos together. We're just not together anymore. I'm also moving to three places. I'm moving to Vegas, Atlanta, and LA. And. I still have lots of love for everybody, but we're not together. So everybody that keeps asking questions, that's that's what happened. It's short, simple. I'm not gonna go into details. Yeah, but that's all I have to say because it's just like it's just like this girl like like I never felt like like any type of way because of that. I never feel any type of way. Even like with my ex or whatever, like I never felt any type of way <laughs> because it's just like it's just like it's just like no cop like like I do be talking to people about my problems because I don't know like what the what the fuck to do because it's just like it's just like bro I just don't want I just don't want nothing and anything to happen because because the shit that like whatever basically it's really short basically like the situation that we we had, but it's just like, it's just like, it's something that's, you know, so I'm just, I'm just be, I'm just like, in there like, really, really, <laughs> really just being in my show for these past months and stuff like that, but it's like, I've been, been doing good, got my license, got every push there, but, but it's, like, like the hardest thing is to do is like the person that you love and care about, you have to let them go. And that shit is like shit fucking hurts. But like that's how life is. I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. Oh my gosh, this is so stomach. This is so stomach. <laughs> some real shit because it's just like I've been holding for this for like months and shit so I just have to let it out any type of way so simple as that so I'm so real shit like 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 Courtney and Courtney didn't do nothing like nothing bad she not she not a bad person she not she she, she is she knows nothing ah fuck yeah I'm just simple a beautiful creature simple as that it's just that like I said like, like, whatever, whatever, like, whatever she needs or something like that, or for sure we got her, like, what, no matter what, like, if she, if, if something happened bad or something like that, I'm going to still be there for her regardless of whatever, so, you know, simple, simple as that, well, because I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, people, people just think about, about what, what's going on in the other thing but people don't know what's going on behind the cameras simple as that and it's like it's like sometimes it's like it's like you want to make shit when you want to make shit work you want things to be happy you want to you want to be with that with that person the rest of your life you want to have a future you want to marry you want to do whatever the fuck you want to for the best to be happy but it's just like it's just like if she ain't happy you am happy for her Right now, I'm just... We're just taking time for ourselves for the last few months, so that's 
why people ask, like, I just don't want any, like, hate coming towards everybody. I don't know how to say that, Because everyone thinks Cam and Courtney are still together right now, and, like, well, half of you guys, like, like, kind of figured it out, and then half of you guys are like, no, they're still fine, but, like, you guys don't know, and they didn't want to, like, really make it public like that, because y'all see me go through all the public, like, breakups and stuff, and it sucks, and it makes everything worse, because everyone mm -hmm. wants to know what happened, but that's why I told them, like, not to tell anyone for, like, a long time, but now, like, they're both doing their own stuff, and I don't want, like, we all don't want you guys to, like, think they're doing stuff wrong because they're single, but you guys don't know they're single, like, exactly. if Courtney's hanging out with people, then you guys are like, where's Cam, where's Cam, where's Cam, like, making Cam, like, think he looks dumb or something, when really, like, exactly. like I don't you guys don't know that they're broken up and stuff. Like, people thinking, you know, like, oh, you know, there's a lot of comments coming towards Cam, too, they're like, oh, you let your girl do this, you let your girl do that, but the truth is, is we're not together, and... I'm also not doing anything like that. I'm just been by myself. Mm -hmm. But, um, I'm gonna just say one last thing before I go. So, all I just have to say is that, like, bro, it's just like, it's just like for these past months, it's just like the reason why, like, I didn't been texting, uh, texting about, about, like, me and her and stuff like that because it's just like, it's just like, like I said, we just been working on ourselves and it's just like, like I said, whatever makes her happy, I'm, I'm happy for her, and it's just like, it's, it's just like, it's like, it is, like I said, it is what it is, and it's simple, but I just say it is, like, like I said, I don't know what's going to, going, going to happen in the future, or not, I want things, like I said, I do want things to make things work, but, but if she, was depressed, sad this whole time and stuff like that. I'm just not going, going to just like force her and just say, "Oh, let's get back together. We're going to make it much happier." I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna do all that, none, none of that. But I'm saying is that, that all I have to say is, I'm, I'm always gonna be, I'm always gonna be proud of you. Always will be. I know, I don't have no hate. So you know, nothing about you or anything because you know about that. But well, I just like to say I love you. I care about you and I hope for the best for you for uh crap on eyes out. No one did it was just so cool. I'll see y'all later. You wanna be safe? Yeah, I'll see. still cool so it's just that part of my life is um is that happened that was my first relationship i've never been in a relationship before and now i'm moving on to the next chapter of my life and i'm moving to three separate places or well, getting houses or whatever i've been ah. and stuff vegas atlanta and la and i'm still trying to come back to the bay at least like once a month or so so we can do contests i'm that? also <laughs> for me I'm, like, I'm gonna come back once a month well, I, I used to live in hawaii for college and i came back to the bay area once a month so I'm hoping either once or twice a month I'll come back and make videos or content for you guys so you guys are really updated with our lives and what's mm -hmm. going on. But yeah. yeah, just to clear things up so that you guys can stop asking, asking questions and I feel bad because it's like... It's not being rude. Yeah. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to ignore people. But the messages are getting... Every single video, it's like, where's Cam? Where's Cam? Where's Cam? And it's like, honestly, I've been traveling and we're still cool, so... That's just how my life is going to go. I don't really want to get into details with it because it's a long story. So if you guys can respect 
Stop crying, and like, <laughs> Just stop. But that's the Public like, breakups are really hard. Like you guys cannot make it like so hard for them like y'all did Thank for me. You. Twice. Just yeah. kidding. <laughs> Twice. But just but, like, don't yeah, be respectful. It, don't ask like no questions and stuff. Just and obviously both sad, so don't it, make it worse. Yeah. So please, um, what else was I going to say? It's, it's not like I'm, it might look like this is super easy. For me, but it's not. I've been going dealing with this for the last since October. I want to say. Yeah, it's not like this is new. It's, like we all been yeah. like getting. Sierra's used to it. the only one that I've been telling since October about how I feel and how my relationship is, so she knows everything. But yeah, like I'm the one who knows everything, and y'all just yeah. see me still cry about it. <laughs> like, so that I've been dealing with this for a long time, and I don't like to put. I my thing is I don't want to put my situation out there. I'm not asking for attention. I'm not asking for. You know, I don't want a bunch of sympathy from people. Like, I've been crying, you know, by myself for a long time <laughs> in my own privacy, in my room, you know. I dealt with this, and now I'm finally, like, my mental health is way better because I just spent a month by myself doing what I love to do, and I've been making content and videos and trying to come up with new moves for you guys. And I'm mentally, I feel so much happier, and I'm okay, and I'm better, and I'm happy. So that's all that really matters. And just working on myself right now so like it's not easy for me like this I've been dealing with this for a long time like I already cried in October and December it's, it's been a long thing and I'm, I'm just happy that it's that I'm moving on to the next chapter of my life okay. yeah that's it. you guys think that you guys could actually be friends with your ex yeah I have it's complicated because it's like everything gets complicated with your next relationship I know with my last boyfriend like he had problems with JB even though they're like best friends mm -hmm. But, like, it's, like, I'm friends with JB, like, acts like, we act like nothing ever happened between us ever. So, like, I know I can be, like, I'm literally, like, hella good friends with JB, and I don't see him, like, at all. Like, he disgusts me now. <laughs> like, I don't even, like, We all know you would never do anything. Exactly. Like, I know I would never do anything with anyway, so I know I could, like, even though we weren't, like, even though we weren't dating and stuff, but, like, still, like, I can be, like, friends and cool with, like, people that, like, I talked to before or dated. I was friends with my, my ex for like a year until he got a girlfriend and she made him cut me off, which I was like, okay, I, I respect that because I would probably be like that too, but... You know, I think thing. for sure, yeah. You obviously won't well, know for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, sometimes it just doesn't work out, but you you were friends before that and you guys would still be friends. Like, if you still want to be a part of each other's lives, but you... Like relationship wise, that doesn't work out. Yeah, just because like, it doesn't work out relationship friends. wise, you still don't want to lose the friendship. Doesn't, yeah, exactly. You don't want to. I don't want to lose my friendship. Because that's what happens. Like with a lot of people, they like they're like hella for, hella good friends, and then they get in a relationship and things don't work out, and then they just like stop talking to each other, and it's like damn, like you just lost that whole friendship. Friend. Mm -hmm. Like and I feel just because like you tried to make it work with the relationship. You can be friends with somebody for a lifetime, you know, but once relationships get in, like start happening, like that kind of they don't always work out. You know, so you might, I don't want to lose somebody over a relationship. Like, you mm -hmm. can still be friends with somebody. Well, what if you were never friends with them before? Like, you just, obviously, be, like, you met them, then, like, y'all just started dating them. Like, how are you, like, how are you supposed to, like, be friends after that? Like, It just depends, I think, on the relationship and the person. I know this is, like, a super controversial topic, but for me, in my situation, I think it's definitely okay. Because I know that we were friends before that, and then we got together, and... But, I mean, I totally get what you're saying, though, like... If you, you just go straight into a relationship? Yeah, like, that's... That's, that's yeah, what happened that's, to me. When I, I met it. when I met my ex, we literally met each other and then dated, started dating two weeks later, which was, like, probably the worst mistake because we didn't even, like, know each other. And that's why things didn't end up working out. But, like, I tried to be friends after that, and then I was just getting mad because I didn't want, like... He was just being with other girls, like, literally, as soon as we broke up. So I was like, bro, like... I can't be friends with you. I don't want to see this right now. So exactly. like, I mean, I feel like it depends on like what happens after. Cause like, mm -hmm. if you, if your person moves on automatically, you're not gonna want to be friends with them after you're freaking in love with them, and then they you see them with all these girls, they're not gonna be like, I don't want to be I all laid up around you like that. Like, like no, but like, I think that's a huge part of it though, because I feel like you have to like mentally like move on with yourself and yeah. be happy by yourself before like you try to make that friendship work. Mm -hmm. Or if it depends if you were already like, if you were the one that broke up with them, then you're probably gonna be like, good. But if you got broken up with, you're probably gonna be like, I, I don't know about mm -hmm. this, you know. I think that makes like a huge part of it because um, <coughs> if you Sorry. like, for me personally, I mentally have moved on. I've been by myself for a month, over a little bit over a month, and I'm like, 
I'm happy with myself and just being by myself again. Like, Cam was my first relationship, and I wasn't with anybody before that ever. So, like, and I was, but I was happy with myself and, like, just working on myself. And now, being gone for a month, I've been happy, like, by myself doing my own thing. And I'm back on, like, working on myself, you know, and I'm super happy with that. And the fact that I'm, like, able to mentally move on and be with, like, myself and, I don't know how to say that. I just got mixed up. Like, be happy with yourself happy with without, myself. like... And I'm like, okay, like, if you're okay in the future with seeing your your ex be with somebody else, then I feel like you guys can still be friends, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you're, if that, if, if say, like... If you ex, still feel like that, like, any if, type of way towards them is gonna, like... Then you can't be you, friends yeah. with, like... Then I get that, like, if you still see them having somebody else is going to make you upset, then that's, that means you're still, like, you know. Mm -hmm. I think it's okay to be friends with your ex as long as you guys set boundaries with each other and, like, and as long as you guys are on the same page and you guys don't think, oh, no, I still own you, like, you're still mine, like, that's not going to work out. Maybe one day we'll get back together. No, no, no you no. guys you are never, ever getting back together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think the, like, if you had a friendship with them before, I feel like that's a big part because you guys know each other as friends and you guys were able to build that friendship before a relationship. Mm -hmm. And if you just go straight into it, you guys, you have to build that friendship in the relationship. Yeah. And that is just going to, like, once that relationship's over, because the friendship was built in that relationship, the friendship's going to go with it. Yeah. First, like, the reason why we broke up, that's probably going to be on both of our minds and it's like... It also depends on what the reason was that you broke up. If you yeah. guys like, if someone cheated, like obviously you guys aren't gonna want to be friends. But if you guys just like want to focus on yourselves right now, then you yeah, should I totally be friends. get that. Yeah. Like, what would you guys do if someone cheated on you guys? Like, what would you guys do? break up with them? I like, <laughs> like everyone always says like they would like break their stuff and take all their stuff and scream and like fight them and get hella mad and stuff. But like, I've been cheated on before, obviously. Like, most people have, but like. It obviously sucks, but like, I never like broke anything. And I feel like if I got cheated on now, like, I'm hella sensitive and I cry hella easily. So like, I feel like if I like walked in and seen someone cheat on me, I would just like start crying and walk out and just like <laughs> cry for the rest of my life and just like, not even like, get. I would be mad like to myself, but I wouldn't be like, oh my god, you stupid asshole! Like, oh, exactly. Like I feel like I wouldn't like go crazy like that because I'm just a crybaby. So I feel like I would just cry about it and just like. Also, there's no reason for you to get mad at the girl because... Or the yeah, I don't get why the people get mad at the girl. Exactly. I literally used to think the same way because if, say, I have a boyfriend and he cheats on somebody, it's not the girl's fault. She might not even know that you exist. She exactly. might not even know. But it's the guy. Your guy obviously doesn't love you if he's cheating on you. Right? So why would you why would you try to start a fight with them? Like, I feel like that's just, you know, now you chose her and now you don't get me anymore. I remember I used to say, like, if you ever chill me, I'll kill you or something. And, like, when I did get you on, I was just like, you know what? Mm, I'm not. So, like, I already I'm wasted, kind of... like, it's like, I already wasted enough energy, like, mm -hmm. being with you for this long and doing all this stuff for you and all this stuff. And, like, why am I going to waste more energy being mad and, like, doing hella extra ass, petty ass stuff mm -hmm. just to, like, like what's be mad at you that? and make you mad and, like... Like, I already wasted enough time, so let me just move on and get my life together and freaking right. flex on you because you're a dumbass. You lost the best you ever have, so. Mm -hmm. Exactly, Sierra. Like, mm -hmm. Sorry, bro. Like, like, you already lost, and I'm not going to waste my time trying to, like, get at you no more. Like, I used to think like that, like, oh, I'm going to get you back. Like, no. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just going to, like, it's part of, like, maturing and growing up. Like, you just can't, like, freaking be stuck on you, just gotta uh, move on with your life and be happy with yourself and freaking say, frick him, he didn't obviously care about me, so why am I gonna be sad over somebody who didn't freaking care about me, you know? <laughs> like, what would you do if you got cheated on? If I got cheated on, mm, it depends. I feel like you're I'd like be pissed. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be pissed. Like, you're like petty. Some people get in their minds like, you know, it's okay, like, they gotta, like, <gasps> suffer, they gotta suffer back or something. But, I don't know. I... I would probably like yell at the person. Um, if I caught the person, I probably, I probably might see the nigga, and I'd probably take everything back. So, I'd take so let me ask you this: stuff, whatever we had, but all that, get, but you books. Give it to that person. I don't care. You she don't deserve it. Bad? You never deserved it. Then you never deserved it. If you wanted to cheat like that, you never deserved it. So let me ask you a question. 
So you said you would beat up the guy, right? Yeah. So why would you be, be mad at the guy instead of the girl? No, I would be mad at the girl, but I don't care. Why does the guy have anything? It doesn't matter. What if he didn't know That's that? tough. <laughs> that's that's tough. Tough. That's tough. mentality I don't understand. That is like, tough. I mean, shit, that's like, like you, both. you didn't want to ask those questions before. You just want that's that's tough. Well, if somebody say no, but guys be lying. Know? Like, you know how many guys like? Well, okay, okay, that's cap. How you going? Know, like, you gotta check Instagram. Bro, or first bro, of all, baby. knowing now, like me personally, uh, uh, like I know too many people. Like that, like social media and shit. Like they're probably gonna check social media before they. Even like no, but you where, gotta where think, you bro. Mean? These guys mean? are getting smarter, bro. I swear to God, how many guys I started talking to, and I found out they had a girlfriend by literally like just randomly scrolling on Instagram and saying, "Wait, oh my God, I seen that tattoo before," and then going like on like someone's story highlights and seeing that same tattoo, and that's how I like found out that that they were together or like that they're at the same place at the same but time that on a happen. certain date. That wouldn't happen because like this one right here and me, no, nah, we have it on our pages, so. If anything, like, the nigga's gonna know. Like, if it's, if, like, she's in a relationship or not. So, if anything happens, I know you're not stupid. Uh -huh. So, but, okay. but not everyone has But saying, like, you're at the club, you're drunk. Ooh, not your okay, relationship. Now that, not your relationship. Y'all, yeah. you know, obviously yeah. wouldn't do that, right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm talking about somebody else. The girl leads the guy on, and she's... You know, she has a boyfriend. And like, it's like a meet-up first type thing, not like Instagram. They didn't, yeah, uh, yeah they didn't I can't really punish Instagram. him. I can't really punish him. Because it's like, the girl don't even tell the yeah. other guy that she has a boyfriend. That's and not fair. Because then, like, he's in a situation guy, where he's like, oh, shit. And I mean, he, he has me. no idea that she had a boyfriend. Because yeah. she didn't say shit. It was like, we going to the club and just, like, taking some guy home. Like, I never met him before. He don't know, like, he don't know even know my name. What are deal-breaker qualities for you guys in a person? Like um, you just can't, just can't. Do laziness. It. Yeah, no motivation. Like, like this no is goals. this is this is for now because like I let myself have these qualities and guys before, which is why like I'm not standing for that anymore. But like a guy who literally has like no like drive to be successful at all. Like, how are you gonna let yourself like you can't not do anything with your life or like sit and not make no money? Don't want to get no job. Don't want to get no like nothing. Like, no purpose. It's exactly. Like, like what? Are, what? Like, what are you doing with your life? You're letting me pay for all your stuff and letting me work my ass on while you sit there and do nothing with your life and make no money. Like how does? It's like even if they don't have any of those things, but it's their mentality for me. Like yeah, exactly. Like I don't care if you're broke. I don't like, care if you're broke as long as you're freaking trying to make it work. Like yeah. I guess as long as you're trying, like if you're trying to get a job, if you're trying, like Have it's goals. the effort, like it's the effort that matters the most to me, at least. Cause uh, you think height matters in a relationship? Hell no. no. I'm a freaking tall ass giant. I dated dude shorter than me. Shorter than me some days. <laughs> well, wait, so, so if how tall are you? Five nine. So okay, if someone if someone came up to you like I was like best guy in the world, right? And he was like five two. Personally, me, I don't care in relationships if guys are guys are shorter than me or if guys I talk to because it like I like I've done it before. It's not me that's the problem. It's them being insecure that I'm taller than them. So mm. that's what causes like the problem of them being like like damn or like I date a guy skinnier than me and they'd be like hell insecure that I'm like and I'm hell skinny so like they're hell skinny and they'd be like insecure because they're skinnier than me and like shorter than me like skinnier and shorter than me so then they'd be like hell insecure and it just causes hell of problems but like me personally I could do it because I've done it before but like it's usually the guy that's yeah it's like me. if they you say they're competent as fuck and they're two inches shorter than you mm -hmm. but it's all about like their personality then it doesn't matter like you know but if it, that's what I'm saying like if it's insecure about that just because of your height or your weight or whatever you look like yeah, you that's can be a turn off confident right? confident as frick short he's freaking the same height as me and he's freaking still thinks he's the hottest guy in the whole mm -hmm. world and I think a deal breaker for me is if someone doesn't love themselves because like if they don't love themselves they're gonna bring jealousy they're gonna bring just a whole bunch of promised relationship, they're going to try to bring you down to their level. Yeah. Negativity. Would you be okay if you dated someone for a while and then, like, like let's just say, like, they gave the perception of them being broke for, like, three months, right? And then once those three months were done and y'all were still together, then, like, y'all become boyfriend and girlfriend and then he tells you that he's rich.
how you gonna feel? Would you be mad that? No, I wouldn't be mad because that's what happened in my situation. Like, cause he don't be like acting like he got it, but like he really do. But like, like it's just like it's the same thing with me. Like when I first meet someone, I don't want to tell them how much money, like, like how much mm -hmm. money I make and like all that type of stuff and like how much stuff I have and like all that stuff. So like, cause usually people want to use you for that. So mm -hmm. like, it's like you don't want to tell nobody that. So. Mm -hmm. Like me personally, I would be fine with it because, like, I know I would, like, I do that sometimes. Like, in my situations, just so people don't use me or like, not even just relationships with friends too. Like, I don't, like, I don't, like, I don't even be telling like Courtney really like how much money I make or like anybody how much money I make or anything. Like, I don't know. I like to keep that shit to myself too. Yeah, exactly. Like, until we're like, you know, together, together. Even, well, I don't know. I still. I was gonna <laughs> say. I was gonna say. I, I didn't even myself. tell it. Yeah. Yeah. I think I would be mad in the moment because it's like we were trying to get to know each other. Now, like, why did you tell me this type of shit? You know, for married. And then like, it's like, it's like you could tell me because I, you should trust me, but it's like also like for their own. No, nah, yeah, no, nah, exactly. like, wait, like, okay, what if like you literally like had to like, like, say this man like was saying like, ah, dang, like I can't get a job. Um, dang, can you pay for like I don't know this meal, oh, this next meal, like, like, stuff like so that. So he was asking like, and I paid. Yeah, this actually happened to someone. So like I'm just saying like how would y'all? Oh, mad. so like he's asking like, for you to pay for, pay for all the meals. Yeah, but pay, like then pay. he surprised you like eventually because like basically his whole thing oh, was like no, because I would like that because then that would show him that yeah, like I was trying be to he's trying to see something. Yeah, it's because that would show that I'd be down for him no matter if he was broke or if he was mu or if he had money like I, like no matter what broke or poor I mean broke or rich I, like, I'll still have your back like if you have no job if you have no money I'll pay for your stuff if I really mess with you I'm gonna mm -hmm. pay for your stuff and pick you up and do all the stuff that you need because you're broke and then when he comes back saying he has all this money I'm like oh well now you just seen that <laughs> I'm not using your friend money so like now like exactly. I feel like I would still be mad cause that's a lot of money cause no it's not even that cause like what if I didn't have money like would you still fuck with me what? yeah well he was no because if I'm right no no stuff, no he was no even no matter what like literally he's rich if like he probably would have paid for it, but like he this whole time like he's just trying to test you. Like to see, like to see really if you really for, mess like, with him. Yeah. Well, it's about the personality, right? So like if y'all are vibing, y'all, you know, you just have to like you wind up being the one paying for shit, but it's because you guys are like figuring it out and you both have goals and you're both working on what you're working on, then that's fun. Yeah, everything's okay. And then except you just, happens to have money later, that's cool, but it doesn't really matter if you guys already like each other for your guys' personality. <laughs> that was so... What? Do it. <laughs> I was marking him. Oh my god. Alright guys, that's all for the mukbang. If you guys want more um mukbangs or like topics, topics or like, topics yeah, so yeah whatever much, you guys yeah. want us to talk about. Or if you guys want to ask us certain things or advice or anything, just let us know down below in the comments what you guys want to hear. video ideas for Vegas. We're all going to Oh, yeah. Vegas. We're going to Vegas next week from the 11th. Well, I'm going from the 11th to the 15th. So if you guys have any video ideas we can do out there. If you guys want to meet us, tap Come us say in. hi. So, yeah. We're probably going to be on the street. Um, well, Courtney's going to be she belongs shaking the street. her. <laughs> She's going to be twerking on the street in front of somebody. Evolution Not like that. Like, like, <laughs> like. Like a street show, not like, yeah, you know, not like say prostitution. She belongs to the streets. I dance on the street. <laughs> <laughs> for money. No, I said she's going to be shaking her ass on the street for money. That sounds like prostitution. That sounds terrible. <laughs> but no, no, no. We're making our own street show. It's going to be really fun. It's really fun. And we're going to uh, like, do a street show for a YouTube video. It'll be really fun. But I'm going to be scared because I have stage fright. But I don't dance yeah. on the street for money. I dance on the street. On Fremont Street or on the strip? On Fremont. Make sure you guys follow all of us on our social medias. Follow Courtney's YouTube. I mean, Greg, why do I keep saying follow? Subscribe to Courtney's YouTube. Subscribe to Ilya Marshall's channel. They just made a channel and get them to so many subs. And they just did a prank on me. So go, so go, get them to so go subscribe. Go subscribe. <laughs> go subscribe. Right now. Go subscribe and turn on the bell because they just pranked me. I don't know where they're going to post that. But they just pranked me and. Whatever they got me, so. Follow Surely. your Instagram, yep. subscribe to your OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, subscribe to OnlyFans. I'll leave everything linked down below if you guys want to go check all the stuff out. Buy the merch. No free clout. Use the code 300K for 15% off. 
But yeah guys, make sure you don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you can be notified exactly when I upload and I'll be back with more videos soon. Peace. Peace. I just want you, yeah, to pull up on me, put your body on me. I just want you, yeah, to pull up on me, put your body on me.